Welcome to the MaxiSys Tool Registration and Update. Today on this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to create an Autel user ID, register your tool, update your tool, and how to delete vehicles and apps from your tools. So let's get started. First, you will need to log on to pro.autelltech.com. From this site, you will be able to create a new user ID, or if you have already registered, just click sign in. If you need to create a new user ID, use your email address in the Autel ID box. You will receive a confirmation email after you have filled out the required information. The password must contain at least six characters with one number and one letter. After you enter your first and last name, you'll be asked to choose an Autel community username. This is the name that other users will see when you participate in the community forums. These communities will be discussed in a later video. Once you have finished filling out the rest of the required information, you will need to enter the characters you see in the image. Then click Create Autel ID. Open your email and check your inbox. You are looking for an email from support at autelltech.com. If you do not see an email in your inbox, check your junk folder to make sure it was not flagged as a spam email. Also, keep this email address in your contacts. This is a great resource if you have any questions for our support team. Once you find the email, open it and click on the link provided. This will take you back to the Autel page and give you confirmation that your account has been created. From here you will click the sign in button and it will return you to the login page. Enter your new Autel ID and the password you just created. Once you fill in the security image, click Sign In. Welcome to the Autel product registration page. If you have multiple Autel tools, they will also be registered here. From the drop-down menu, select your tool that you'll be registering. Once you click on your tool, you will notice at the bottom of the page an FAQ will open up. This will give you the information on how to find your serial number and password for your specific tool. Once you have located your serial number and password, enter the information and click Submit. There is a lot of information to be found on the account page. I recommend spending some time checking out the links and viewing the information. The first place we will be going is to the Your Devices link. Once here, you will see the device you have just registered. Notice that this will give you the day of registration and the day your updates will end. Also, you are able to give each tool a description. If you have multiple locations with the same tool, this will give you the ability to differentiate them. One last thing to do on this page is to go to the PC Suite link and download the PC Suite for your tool. This suite will give you the drivers and print functions you will need. Now that your tool has been registered, you will need to do the updates. Let's switch over to our MaxiSys tool and make sure you are connected to the internet. By going to the home screen, settings, and Wi-Fi. Select your network and make sure you are connected. Now back at the home screen, we are ready to do updates on the MaxiSys vehicle library. This can be done by clicking on the MaxiSys icon or on the M home at the bottom of the screen. Once you are back on the MaxiSys home screen, locate the update button and select it. We are now in the update screen. I recommend checking this weekly to keep current on all the most recent updates and fixes. As you can see, the update screen will also show you what the update contains. In this example, there is an update for Chrysler that gives us a thousand special functions for headlights, battery, immobilizer, injector, throttle, key, DPF, tire pressures, etc. This is why it's so important to consistently check for updates. Once you have looked through the vehicles that you can update, select the update next to the vehicle or simply select all. The MaxiSys tool has 32 gigs of memory built in so there is no concern of running out of memory. We have found no negative effects from having all vehicles loaded. Now that we have the Android platform up to date and the vehicle library up to date, our final step is to update the VCI. The VCI is the Vehicle Communication Interface and it is the part that plugs into the vehicle. We need to make sure the firmware is up to date. 
We can do this by connecting the VCI to the MaxiSys tool with the provided USB cable. If you are doing the update on your J2534 Maxi Flash Box, you will need to connect power supply to the VCI. When back on the MaxiSys Home, slide the screen to the left until you see the orange VCI Manager icon. Select the VCI Manager. Once connected, you will have the option to check for updates and install updates. This update should be checked every six months. You are now completely up to date. Occasionally there will be times that you have the desire to delete vehicles from your tool. It may be that one of your vehicles is not functioning correctly, or if you wish to remove vehicles to get rid of clutter. The way you can do this is by going to the Maxisys home screen and clicking on Data Manager. Once on the Data Manager page, click on Apps. Here you will see all the vehicles that are loaded onto your tool. If you wish to delete one of the vehicles, simply select the vehicle and a check mark will appear. When you have made all the selections, click the trash can and it will be removed. If at any time you wish to add the deleted vehicles back to the tool, simply do the update process again. This is the end of our update tutorial. I hope that you have found it helpful and informative.